people who live here aren't aren't able to get a seat and they feel like since their contributions are paying for the concerts that they should be able to get a seat. If you attend the Live Daybreak Summer Concert Series, big changes are being made to control the crowds who come in from near and far for this formerly free event. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser. I spoke to residents who live in the neighborhood who are relieved to see a solution, but those who don't live in the area will probably be disappointed. On a blustery February day, this lot doesn't look like much, but come summertime, it's the place to be on the weekend. Every Friday and Saturday night, they have a concert right here, and people come and listen to the music for free. This can fit about two to 2,500 people, and we've had concerts where there's over 5,000 people here. Those who live in Daybreak say the crowds get so big, they stretch over to the other side of the street. There are times where we've come out here uh, to see the concerts, and it was so packed that as a resident, we just turned around. It used to be an event the neighborhood would try to get the word out about. Now it's gotten big enough that people in Daybreak are saying, let's not advertise outside whoever comes, comes, but let's not encourage people outside of Daybreak from coming. This week, the Live Daybreak Community Council announced it'll now be a ticketed event. Residents don't have to pay, but visitors will, and dogs are no longer accepted. So some people are, are incensed that we can't bring our pets, but it's okay because June likes music, but she's She's okay staying at home. Live Daybreak says it had to be done. Guest feedback made them realize the old way was, quote, unsustainable. They do have plans in the future to have much bigger areas for the concerts. So right now, this is what they have, and they're doing the best that they can with it. Live Daybreak declined my request for an interview. However, their website emphasizes that this event is paid for by residents. That's why they get a free ticket. It's funded by a community enhancement fee that is collected at the time when they close a property. It's not supported by the HOA. Reporting in Daybreak, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.